In the beginning was very hard. People calling her names and saying she was ugly. Now Luna is kind of famous. Quer botar? Não? Quer? Ai, que lindo! Uau! Fala, mostra pro tio, mostra pro tio, ficou lindo! Minha mãe quer muito! Luna is uh, one year and a half. She was born with the giant nevus, is the, um, like the birthmark, and that can become to a melanoma, like a bad cancer. Actually, she already had three nevus on her body that was cancer. We found out the nevus when she was born. I thought that she was dirty for the like the stuff from the labors. We were in sh shock because we didn't know about it. I didn't want to meet Luna after the labor. I was kind of, I don't know, depressed. He came to my room and he took me like, you need to see your daughter. She's like perfect. He doesn't even see the mark, like, you know. I'm more realistic. The nevus is not painful for her um, now. If you, like, if you don't remove it, with the time, the years, it can be painful, it gets thicker, it's very, like, hairy. Ai, mãe, vai ser o creminho e vai ser. Yeee! Yeee! Yeee, 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 yeee! Um creminho! Just uh, putting some moisturizer on her body, like a lotion. Remove a lot of nevus on her body, so we need to be careful with that. <laughs> we need to, uh, the nevus is very dry, so. Right? Um creminho no bracinho, yes! Ok, you're good? Yes, passa na barriguinha assim, ó. We didn't decide about the surgeries in the beginning. One day we went to a church with her and uh, we faced a very bad bullying situation. Um, old lady called her a monster. She was like, I think two months old and we decided that day at the church to take out the nevus. We chose like a doctor in New York but he didn't accept Luna's health insurance and the surgery would be $400,000. We went to Russia, we were there for six months. They did her forehead, her nose, the eyelid, and a little bit under the, her eyes. When we decided to go to Russia and we needed to get the money to pay for the surgeries, we started to do a lot of events, um, campaigns, go fund, and all over Brazil and US. When Luna was about two months old, um, somebody made the doll and sent to us a, as a gift. And everybody that was like coming to my house to visit Luna asked about the doll. So we had an idea to called the girl that made it and uh, start in, start making the dolls to sell to people because it's not everybody that can donate money but there's a few people that can buy the dolls and give it as a gift to somebody now luna is kind of famous because people came oh this is luna can i take a picture of her oh she's so beautiful this and that but people that don't know about the story they point, they just laugh, they ask stupid questions. So now we know how to deal with that. In the beginning was very hard, you know, people calling her names and saying she was ugly. Hey, ficou bravo agora? Today is like 20% bad. Ela é um doce de criança, não, não tem que reclamar dela, não. Fica nervoso, né? A gente não sabe como vai ser o procedimento. Tem medo de surpresas, né? Ela é tudo pra gente. Ela é a base da família. This shirt is like a UV protection for, from the sun. Luna's condition 
like for now that she's going through surgeries, uh, she can't deal with the sunlight. But I mean, she's gonna have a normal life as soon as possible. She looks at the mirror all the time. She plays with the hair. She wants to put makeup on, but she, I don't think she realizes that she has something. You know? She's active. You can see like, she can't stop. She's super happy. A super happy girl all the time playing, dancing for her future. Just wanted her to be happy.